How's it going, Rasmonites? Today we're going to talk about my theories on who texted Kevin Nash. Or my thoughts is probably what's actually going to be in the title. Today, on the Rasmans Reality. So I wanted to quickly make this episode before this storyline progresses any further because this is the kind of thing that's always fun to try and predict. But it's even better as WB has been lately not really knowing where they're going. So the first option in my mind and the one that I haven't seen very many people talk about yet is that it was no one. Nash didn't have a text. He powerbomb CM Punk on his own. Why would Nash powerbomb CM Punk on his own at SummerSlam? Because of the fact that a couple of weeks prior to SummerSlam, there was a tweet from Kevin Nash to CM Punk that stated that he wanted to be CM Punk's bodyguard and that he should think about having protection. But he understood if he wanted to do it on his own. Well, Clearly, CM Punk didn't take Nash up on his offer, so WWE could have planted that tweet in order to sort of make this storyline happen between Nash and Punk. So that's one option, is that Nash is aggravated that CM Punk would let him share in his limelight as like his final piece of glory. Option number two is Stephanie. Stephanie makes logical sense because she could have been aggravated at Punk or Cena because remember Nash's text said quote unquote stick the winner for me so that didn't matter who the winner was she could have been mad at Punk or Cena because of what happened with her father Vince or maybe she's mad that Vince was ousted because she was supposed to get control from Vince when Vince was ready to step down. Instead, her husband, Triple H, got it. And the third option would be a sort of revamping of the old corporation angle. Where Alberto Del Rio is supposed to be like the corporate champion. And it comes out that Triple H did send a text. He knew about everything the whole time. And Triple H and Stephanie are working hand in hand with Alberto Del Rio to make CM Punk's life a living hell. And John Cena could be stuck in the middle of the whole thing. And that could also work somewhat with the fourth option of it being Vince McMahon. This is Vince McMahon's way to stay in control, is to have a champion that he help make happen, have a big burly enforcer type in Kevin Nash that he helped to employ. We saw McMahon Stooge, the head of talent relations, John Laurinaitis, have words with Kevin Nash. So there are a number of ways, number of ways that this could go, but this is, I think, a good storyline because we haven't seen Nash and WWE in years. Nash has always been great at the sheet style promos, which is what Punk does. And I think it's a nice little side feud for Punk while they have Cena go after Del Rio and then Punk can go after Del Rio later on. 
or they could have CM Punk and John Cena actually coexist as a team against Del Rio and the corporation. But I like this twist. I think it's continuing to make storylines interesting. You still don't know where WWE is going. So you all let me know what you think in the comment box down below or in video responses. This is reality according to the Rasmus. And Rasmian style, it's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.